Good afternoon, ladies. I'm a little late on uh, me mornings with Meemaw, so it's afternoon with Meemaw. Uh, actually, just getting a hold of my book of the day, and this is actually a book that I've read um, quite a few times. This book has an interesting story behind it, and the reason I'm saying that is um, I've been around a uh, lot of wealthy people in my day, a lot of wealthy people. Um, there was a common denominator and a common thread that I noticed of all these wealthy people that I know when you start picking their brains and asking them questions about you know things that they've read, stories, you know, they all have the same uh, theme to them. But this particular book, I noticed um, every single person that I know that is a multimillionaire, very successful, um, just all around got their shit together, people have all recommended this particular book. And they all said, once you read this book, you'll get it. And like I said, um, common denominator, very, very successful people all have resorted back to this particular book. Um, some of you girls might know this book already. It's, uh, it's out there. It's been out there a long time. Here we go. It's called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Um, I opened up the book and right to the page uh, opened up this whole dialect. And I want to read this to you because it's... Um, you know, at first I used to think this kind of stuff was hokey and, you know, you go to these events and you listen to these people speak and it, all the rah-rah that comes with it. And But then I realized that, you know, there must be something to it because if they're all saying the same thing and they're all reading the same stuff, then you know what? Something to be said. So anyway, here's a little, uh, little blurb from this book uh, just to give you an idea. There is a difference between wishing for a thing and being ready to receive it. No one is ready for a thing until he believes he can acquire it. The state of mind must be in belief, not mere hope or wish. Open-mindedness is essential for belief. Closed minds do not inspire faith, courage, and belief. Remember, no more effort is required to aim high in life, to demand abundance and prosperity, that than is acquired, required to accept misery and poverty. A great poet has correctly stated this universal truth through these lines. I'm going to read you this little poem now that I, I actually love. And think about the words that I'm saying to you. I bargained with life for a penny, and life would pay no more. However, I begged at evening when I counted my scanty store. For life is just an employer. It gives you what you ask. But once you have set the wages, why? You must bear the task. I work for a menial's hire only to learn dismayed that any wage I had asked for of life, life would have willingly paid. Hmm. I, I think about that and uh, uh, I'm actually going to post a picture of that poem and you can read it to yourselves. But uh, basically it has a lot to do with, you know, what you're putting in here. Again, going back to the whole theme that I'm talking about, uh, who you're hanging with, who you're surrounding yourself, uh, who you're connecting with. Uh, you know, what you put in is what's coming out, whether it be uh, good books, whether it be an exercise in health, whether it be in diet, what you put in your, your minds and your body is what's going to come out for you. So, um, I, again, highly recommend Think and Go Rich, Napoleon Hill, a lot of uh, great things in this book. And like I said, uh, the connection that I made, and again, you know, not to be, you know, woo, -woo she hung around millionaires, but... The common thread that I noticed with all these people, not every single one of them has mentioned this particular book for some reason. And uh, I've read it a couple times and a lot of great lessons that I will uh, share for you out of this book. But um, good stuff. So peace out, ladies. Hope you're enjoying your Monday. I am, as you can see. I just came back from lunch with my daughter and uh, having a good day. Now i got to prepare dinner for my husband. But uh, uh, again, hope you're having a good day and see you tomorrow.